Hello, I'm Bishop Peggy Johnson from the Peninsula Delaware Conference and the Eastern Pennsylvania Conference of the United Methodist Church. I bid you grace and peace from the Lord Jesus Christ during this holy season. The Christmas story certainly is inspiring. Much joy and much pageantry can be seen in our churches during this season. But as you know, it isn't all about angels and wise men and adoring shepherds. The Christmas story also has a sad side to it. The picture featured at the beginning of this video is entitled The Flight to Egypt, painted by George Hitchcock. And in this picture we see the Holy Family escaping from their beloved Judea and traveling to the land of Egypt in order to escape from the murderous King Herod. And they stayed there quite a while until the king had died. Refugees, migrants, they're not something strange to the day we live in now. Statistics tell us that over 65 million people on the earth right now are refugees, immigrants, and people who have faced incredible persecution. Among those 65 million people, over half of them are people under the age of 18 years old. They flee from their native lands because of war, natural disaster, persecution, violence, genocide. And what they face is terrible hazardous travel conditions, extreme poverty, physical suffering, cultural barriers, discrimination, and a lack of employment, education, disease, and many times death. But we as the people of God can do something about this. God calls us to care about those on the margins of life. And indeed the migrant crisis is huge. And so I'd like to call the year 2018 to be the year of the migrant in our area. So that every Christian, every church, every area in this conference will find one way of welcoming people into our midst who are the stranger, who are the migrant, who are people left out of the world's love and resources. So we certainly would like your donations, that's very important, and the United Methodist Church has an advance number for donations to the migrant concern. But also educate yourself about who is in your area and who is coming into your area. And be willing to be a political advocate for these folks. Welcome them into your churches. Find ways of providing legal services, housing, transportation. In some way, every one of us can do one thing. And so I wish you a very blessed holy season and also a blessed and prosperous 2018. The new year is as bright as God's promises to us. And I remind you now the words of our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. This is from Matthew chapter 25, verse 35. God bless you all.